Okay, I think we're live. So, um, it'll be helpful if people could tell me if they can hear me. All right. Hi everyone. Welcome to today's Kids Corner. So while we're waiting for other people to join us, you guys can introduce yourselves in the comments or ask me any questions that you might have. I'm so, thank you, so you can hear me. All right, cool. So thank you for joining into this live session today. I am so excited to be doing this. I'm so happy to be doing this and I'm happy to be doing this with the Sick Coalition. I admire their work. They are a community-based organization that fights for the civil rights of all people. So that is amazing. I'm so happy to be doing this. So, all right. So I just wanted to say that um, today's drawing is gonna focus on the theme of imagination. And for those of you who are joining today, welcome. Welcome to the Sick Coalition Kids Corner. And um, yeah, so this happens every single Wednesday. And there's a new um, there's a new guest every Wednesday, so it happens at 2 p.m. if you're on the East Coast, 11 a.m. if you're on the West Coast, and 7 p.m. GMT. So, cool. Let's get started with this tutorial. Today we're making this, and this drawing used a lot of imagination, as you can see. And I'm just gonna explain what I made. So this is a banana boat. And this is supposed to be you, or this is supposed to be me on the banana boat, but I made myself as a baby just because I felt like it. And the captain of the boat is this bunny, and we're gonna call her Captain Bunny. And this is your best friend, Sir Giraffe. And I decided to call the sea creature Victoria the sea creature because it looks more like a Victoria than a Bob. But you guys can tell me if I should change up the names. So let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to change the angle of the camera. All right. So as you can see, this is my setup. And we're going to take this out of the way. And make sure you have your supplies. So a pencil or a pen, a piece of paper, and any colors you want to use. I'm going to use pencil crayons and markers. And instead of a pencil, I'm going to go straight in with a pen just because I feel like it will be easier for everyone to see and it'll be easier to follow. So, all right, is everyone ready? Okay, I'm going to assume everyone's ready. So we're going to start off by making our boat and we're going to do this. I mean, I try to explain it to the best of my ability, so I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense. But the boat looks something like that. And then we're gonna do, um, we're gonna make like a line over here because we're gonna add two windows to the side and it's gonna be easier to see if we make the line. All right, and tell me if I should go slower or faster or if it's okay. So we're gonna start off by making our first window. So we're gonna make this circle. And I'm just gonna add this because it's gonna add some depth. And then we're gonna add these lines because it's gonna be the reflection on the window. So we're gonna make the same window over here. And we're gonna add the same little thing and the reflection. I accidentally drew a banana. Is that still okay? Yes, that's okay. <laughs> and we're gonna add another window over here. A bit slower, okay. So we're just gonna wait for everybody to catch up. So what we did was we made our banana, or this is gonna look like a banana in the end, I promise and we made a line going like this, and we made our circles. And the circles are gonna be windows. So we're gonna add a few over here as well. So for this circle, we're gonna add this little shape over here. 
and then our reflections. And let's add another window over here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna have fun. And I apologize if my hand is blocking the illustration. I'm left-handed, so I wish I could change that, but I, I can't. <laughs> All right, so that's the base of our banana boat. Should I um, make the next part? We're gonna make the little, I don't really know what this is called, but it's like the room, the captain's quarters. All right. So we're just gonna make a square like that. It's not a full square, but it's all we need. And then let's add, let's add a window. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit slower. Wow, there's a lot of you on here. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I hope I don't mess up. And let's add another window over here. And let's add some stripes. So we're gonna color this in at the end. And then it's actually gonna look better, but I'm gonna make stripes over here just because I feel like it. So now, Let's make a flag because the name of our boat is imagination. And that's what I'm gonna write on the flag. But you can write anything you want. You can even write your name. So that's the flagpole and that's just the base of it. And I'm gonna make my flag. So I'm gonna go like, I don't think you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna change the angle so you guys can see. I'm gonna go like that gonna look like a flag and that's your flag and I think I'm just gonna make a heart at the top because I feel like it you guys can add it if you want and I'm gonna name the boat imagination I hope it fits oh it does sweet I'll add another heart just because I feel like it. And you can write anything you want. You can write your name, you can write your favorite color, you can write your pet's name. I don't know. Do whatever you feel like doing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make um, steam pipes over here. They're gonna look like they're gonna look like that. Because this is an older boat. And older boats have steam pipes. So we're gonna make one over here, just a cylinder. And we made like this oval at the top. And let's add some stripes. And let's add one over here, smaller one. And we can make some steam coming out. I'm oh, sorry if you guys can't see, doing my best. All right, so now let's make the characters on our boat. So we're gonna make Captain Bunny. So to make Captain Bunny, we're gonna make her ear and then her face, which goes like that, and another ear, and then we connect it. So that's gonna be Captain Bunny's head and it's gonna look like a bent bunny. <laughs> it doesn't look like a bunny right now. And I'm just gonna fill in this part to make ears. And we can color that in afterwards. And let's make some eyes. And upside down triangle for a nose. And then she's smiling. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some freckles on the bunny, just because I make freckles on every character. You don't have to do this. Yes, I can go slower. All right, so we're just gonna wait for everybody to catch up. 
Can I make the bunny again? Yes. So I have this blank piece of paper and I'm gonna make it on here. So we are gonna start off by making the ear and we go like that and I'm gonna make the other ear and we're gonna go like that. And eyes, I did my bunny doing the Titanic pose. That's amazing. I wish I could draw that, but I can't, I think. That's my bunny. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll keep it over here. So now let's make the bunny's body. So one hand is doing that, and that's the body. And I'm going to make my bunny saluting because, oh, well, I messed up there, but that's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> but I'll make it over here. So I can't really make a bunny saluting, it turns out, but I tried my best and that's all that matters. Are you a dentist? No, but my, my sister, she works in a dental office, so <laughs> I have this. <laughs> All right, so now let's make the other characters. Um, let's make the little baby. So you don't have to make a baby, you can make yourself, but I don't know how everybody looks like. So I'm just gonna make a little baby because babies tend to look the same. The little body, smile, eyes and one strand of hair <laughs> just because I'm gonna make the little hands because this baby is so happy to be on the banana boat sailing the world <laughs> and now let's make the giraffe so I'm just gonna wait for people to catch up and let me know if I can go ahead and make the giraffe. So if you guys are having fun, please let me know. <laughs> All right. So while we're waiting for other people to make what we have over here, I'm just gonna make um, if you don't want to make the baby, you can make like, let's make like a little girl. So if I were to make a little girl, I would make her like, like that. Maybe have like two braids. That was my favorite hairstyle when I was little. So <laughs> we are having lots of fun. Good. Thank you. <laughs> I like art. I like art too. Thanks guys. All right, so let's make the giraffe. So giraffes have really long necks. So we're gonna make this line going like this and it's gonna go out like this. And this is the neck. So we're gonna make another line going like this. And now let's make the ears. So the ears look like this. But we're not going to connect the ears yet, or the head, sorry. Giraffes have these horns or these antenna looking things. They look kind of like, like that. If you want me to make that again, let me know and I could just make it on this piece of paper. I'm just going to make it anyways. <laughs> Goes like this, like that an ear, an antenna thing, another antenna, and another ear. And now we're gonna add the eye and a smile and nostrils too, because why not? And now we can add the spots because giraffes have these spots. 
So I don't know what to name the giraffe yet. I called him Sir Giraffe, but you guys can let me know in the comments what I should name him. So he has an actual name. You can make the spots like so. So for those of you that are joining in right now, this is the drawing that we're making. All right, it's too fast. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna go way slower. Yeah, it's spotty, because giraffes have all the spots. You want to name the giraffe Jagroup. Gerald the giraffe. These are really good names. Oh, spotty for the name of the giraffe. Okay, these are really good names. So I was thinking, Sir, it could be Sir Jeffrey the Giraffe from a grade two student. Nice. <laughs> Madam Juju the Giraffe. I really like that one. Geoffrey. Geoffrey? <laughs> giraffe. My giraffe looks like a rooster. <laughs> That's all right. It could be a hybrid giraffe. So. Those are the characters on our boat. And you can make the giraffe wearing a hat. So this giraffe is so excited to be on the boat that the hat is gonna be falling off by the wind. <laughs> That's my hat. I'm gonna make it over here so you can see it better. So I did that. It's a top hat because he's fancy and then a ribbon and you could add spots or stripes or lines on the hat because why not you don't have to just an option all right griffy the giraffe georgie milan says baby Gerf gerfu gerfu the giraffe nice these are really good names I think I'm gonna go with, mm, I can't choose. These are too good. This giraffe is gonna have all the names. All right, so I want to make the sea monster now or the sea creature. Let me know if, if everybody is caught up and then I'll go ahead and make the sea creature. Gulu, <laughs> that's a good one too. All right, and if we're good to go ahead, I like my giraffe's fancy. Me too. <laughs> or Gary. So let me know if you want me to make the sea creature now. Yes, you can. All right, guys. So we're gonna make Victoria the sea creature. So this is gonna be her head. And we're just gonna make it like that, all right? And now we're going to make the rest of the body, but we're not going to connect it because she's in the water. So we're not going to show that. So that's one little bump. And she's going to be a really long sea creature. So we're just going to make, let's make two of these and a tail. And we're going to color this in as water. So it looks like she's swimming. And then you can add little scales, just these triangles, or you can make ovals. Somebody said general giraffe. That's a good one too. <laughs> like that. And why not add some ears? You don't have to. And a smile. And Victoria is gonna be wearing a sun hat because she loves sun hats. And it's gonna have ribbons on it. Cause why not? I gave my sea monster some whiskers to help her swim. It's fun, thank you. 
thanks guys. And yeah, the whiskers are, the whiskers are a really good um, thing that you added. I don't, I don't know how it's gonna help her swim though. So you can explain it to me. What is the baby and bunny's name? So Captain Bunny, mm, her name could be Ashley and the baby's name is your name. So this baby's name is Gurpreet because that's my name. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the lighthouse. I'm going to call mine Banana because my stuffed animal is a giraffe. Oh, that's cute. I used to have a stuffed um, giraffe when I was a little kid as a toy. And giraffes are actually one of my favorite animals and elephants, but I felt like making a giraffe today. So this is an island. Let's make another island over here. And on this island, we're gonna make the lighthouse. So it just goes like this, just a rectangle with a little door. And this shape, you guys can just make another rectangle going like that. And let's make this little thing. It's like a building on top of the lighthouse. And a flag if you guys want to add a flag. I'm just gonna make a heart on my flag because why not? Can you please show us how to make the island? Yes. So. The island was just like, it's like that. You could just make any shape. You can even make an island like, I hope that's in frame. I don't think that was in frame. You can make one like, like that or like that, any shape. For a second, I thought you said the White House. <laughs> I said Lighthouse. <laughs> All right. So, we're just gonna make the shore, the shoreline in the background. It goes like that. And we're just gonna add some hills or mountains. And honestly, this doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna color it and that's the fun part. It just goes like, like that. Sorry if you guys can't see, I apologize. And it goes like that. And I feel like making the sun over here because why not? And you can add clouds in the sky if you want. I'm gonna add some. And in the corner, you guys can add a tree. You guys can add a palm tree or an evergreen tree, maple tree. I'm gonna add an evergreen tree because there's a lot of those where I live. And it just goes like that. Any tree you guys want to make. So this tree doesn't look perfect, but that's okay because I'm having fun and that's all that matters. So now it's actually time. Can we please pause after the palm tree? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna make a palm tree on this in case you wanted to make a palm tree. So palm tree looks like, like you make these palm leaves. They just look like spikes the way I'm making it. And it goes like that. And then you just add the trunk. And the trunk usually has these, I think they're, they're they look like scales. They're not, I don't know the words. And then you can add the little coconuts and that's the palm tree. Can you do the tree again? Um, yeah, for sure. So the palm tree or the, this tree? I'll just do both because why not? So this tree that I just made, 
goes like like that and you just do that and then the trunk so I'm just gonna pause now because we're done drawing and we're gonna color after this so I'm gonna pause so everybody can catch up and when you guys are ready to go ahead, then I'll start coloring. So let me know. All right. You guys can add anything else you want onto the drawing. You can add another, you can add like a fish over here if you want, or like a bird on the tree. Can you show us how to do palm? Yes, the palm tree. So like, goes like, what about the lifesaver? Oh yeah, I still have to add that. Thank you for reminding me. So that's a palm tree. And somebody told, uh, reminded me to make the lifesaver on the boat, so thank you for reminding me. I'm just going to make that here. So usually boats have this because they're like flotation devices. So you're just going to make a circle with another circle inside of it. Like a string or a line going like this because it's attached to the boat. And then you can add the little stripes. And we're going to color it afterwards so it's going to look better. Yeah, you can add that to the boat as well. Maya said you're welcome. Thank you for reminding me, Maya. All right. So let me know when you want me to start coloring and we will color. We can start to color, great. So I'm gonna start coloring the banana boat first. So I'm gonna take my yellow pencil crayon, but you guys can take any yellow color you guys have, or even if you don't wanna make it yellow, you can, you can make it like a green banana or a purple banana. Or it doesn't even have to be a banana. It can just be a regular boat. Oh, my yellow color broke. So I'm gonna use this yellow color because I have I have a lot. So everybody has a different technique of coloring and I don't really know what my technique is. I just go straight like that. You can do whatever you want, but we're gonna color it to the best of our ability. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do we have to close the banana bow at the bottom? Well, we're gonna make the waves here with our other colors, so it's gonna look closed off. So you guys can color. And Good morning. Somebody said good morning, so. It's morning time where I live. It's around 11.30 where I live, because I'm on the west coast. For some of you, it's nighttime. I think in England, it's like around 7.30. Don't start coloring. Oh, sorry guys. So for those of you who have already drawn the drawing you guys can go ahead and color I'm just gonna wait a little bit yes I can wait when we're done coloring the boat it's 12:29 in Alberta oh wow look at us different time zones <laughs> we thought you were from Toronto no I'm from British Columbia So 
So I'm sure you guys at home are better colorers than I am because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm having fun, so. So this is a darker yellow that I'm using, but you don't have to use this. But I just wanted to make the bottom a little bit more darker than the top. And I'm just gonna lightly shade that in. So I'm gonna pause for those who are still catching up. And I think I'm gonna put the I wish there was a way for me. So you guys can see what it should look like or our inspiration is right there. It's at the top so you guys can see it better. I know it's getting cut out, but there. All right. So now I'm just gonna color this room on the boat, the captain's quarters. I'm just gonna take my yellow color and just gonna color that in. But I'm not gonna color the entire thing yellow because these are stripes over here that I'm gonna color. Oh, my other color broke. A good thing I have another yellow pencil crayon here. That's why I have doubles or triples of colors because I color pretty hard. <laughs> but I always come prepared. Great, that's why I have a pencil crayon or a sharpener. So I'm just gonna sharpen. Can we customize it with our personal touch? Yeah, of course. Add or take away whatever you want. Great. So there. And now let's color our flagpole. So I'm gonna take my brown color, or you guys can use a gray or any darker color. I'm gonna use brown. And I'm just gonna color my flagpole. There. And to color my flag, I think I wanna make my flag a pink, but you guys can make your flag any color. But I'm just gonna go in with my pink color. I'm gonna use a marker because I like to use pencil crayons and markers. And I'm just gonna color that in. But feel free to use any color you wanna use. There you go. And I think I'm gonna color the heart at the top red. And we should color the windows in of our ship. So I'm gonna look for my blue color. So I have this blue over here. I'm just gonna use my blue marker. Oh, this one's kind of light. So I'm gonna use a darker blue. There you go. And I'm just gonna color in the windows. And you know this little crescent that we made? You guys can make it a darker yellow or I'm gonna make it an orange because the insides are gonna be orange. Almost 300 students from Coven Server Calgary have joined you this session. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and our windows. I'm gonna make this orange.
There you go. Please wait after the windows, of course. So now, while we're waiting, you guys can go ahead and um, color the stripes. Like, I'm gonna make this one red and this one blue, but you guys can choose any colors you want. So we're just gonna finish off the boat. And you don't have to use the same colors as me. Just use your favorite colors. And I'm gonna make the stripe red too. Maybe this one. I forgot to color my heart in. Make it red. And the other stripe, I'm gonna make it blue. This one too. All right, and now for the lifesaver. I know in my original drawing, I had it be red and black, but this one, I think I want red and white because a lot of lifesavers are this color. You guys can choose any colors. There, are you a doctor? No, <laughs> I am not, but I am a nursing student. So, I'm in nursing school. All right. So, I think I want to go ahead and color my characters. So, for the bunnies, I know I messed up on this bunny, but I'm sure you guys have made it look better. It was supposed to look like 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 that. <laughs> but I'm going to make the bunny's outfit green. But feel free to use any color. All right, I'm just gonna wait for people to catch up because um, why not? And um, for those of you who are moving faster, you guys can go ahead and shade in the boat. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a yellow marker and go over the pencil crayon but only on the sides, but I'll do that um, when um, people tell me to move on. So let me know when I should move on. And ask me any questions and give me feedback because it's really helpful. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to start shading in. We are having fun. That's good to hear. I'm having a lot of fun too. I'm just going to shade in the sides of the boat. And maybe the line too. And around the windows. What color is Victoria? So I was thinking of making Victoria green or purple. I think I'm gonna make the spikes purple and I'm gonna make the body green. But you can use any colors. I think first we'll make the col uh, characters over here. We'll color them in and then we'll color Victoria. So let's see what colors we have. I think I'm gonna make the bunny gray. So I'm gonna make her face gray. I'm just going to take my gray and lightly color her in. And after you guys are um, done making this, you guys can tag Sick Coalition and 
if you guys are posting this on Instagram, make sure you tag Sick Coalition, and you can also tag me. So it's at Birkidy, B-I-R-K-I-D-Y, because I do not have a Facebook. And please post pictures of your drawings or story it, and that would be so cool to see. So I'm gonna color the baby in now. So I'm just gonna take my brown, or you can take any color, color the baby's face, or your face, for those of you who chose to make yourself. Yes, I will slow down. And you guys can make the baby's outfit any color you want. I did this teal color. This is also one of my favorite colors, by the way. And then we can move on to Sir Giraffe. What color is the tower? So in my original picture, I made the tower um, red and blue, and the doors were yellow, but I'm gonna use the same colors for this one as well. So you guys can make it red and blue. But I'm gonna go ahead and color the giraffe. So I'm gonna take this orange color that I have, and I'm not gonna fill in the spots, just the, the other areas. And I'm just gonna lightly take my marker and color this in. And I'll color in the antennas too, the ears, and then the face. I love sketching and painting. Me too. Those are my favorite things to do. And now I'm just going to take my brown color and I'm going to color in the spots. Because the spots tend to be darker. So I'm going to use brown. And you're just going to fill those spots in. All right. And now I think I want to color the giraffe's hat. So I'm actually going to take this dark blue color. It's a navy and it looks almost black when when you color it in. But you can take a black or any color and fill in the hat. you show me the lighthouse? Yes. The lighthouse looks like that. I'm just gonna put it over here so people can still see that. And now let's color Victoria. So I'm gonna color Victoria green. So what green should I use today? I think I'm gonna use this teal green. So you guys can go ahead and color Victoria green or any color you want. And yes, I can go slower. So take your time, everyone. And let me know when I can proceed. So I'm just going to slowly color Victoria in. And this part, I'm not going to color in this part, so I do this for a lot of my characters. I just make a circle here and I don't color that in because in the end I'm going to make it pink so it looks like rosy cheeks. But the rest of her face, I'll color in this teal color. Thank you. Um. 
You can use any technique while you're coloring her in. I'm just making little spirals or little circles. Looks really nice. Thank you. How do you do the ocean? Well, um, we're going to do that after this. I'm just going to take a blue color. I have a lighter blue and I'm going to lightly color it in. And then for um, the waves, I'm going to take a darker blue marker and make the waves. And I'll show you guys how to do that. And now let's color in the spikes. So I think I want to go with purple. I love your drawing. Thanks, Maya. So just color in the triangles. Alright, and let's color in the hat. So I think I'm going to take my brown, but you can take any color, color in the sun hat. And I'm going to leave this, I'm not going to color in the middle because that's going to be the ribbon. I'm going to color it red. In this picture I made it blue, but for this picture I'll make it red. You just do that. And I forgot to color in the ribbon on Sir Giraffe's hat. So there you go. Thank you for drawing this with us. No problem. I love drawing. So I'm happy that all of you are enjoying it. Well, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> and now for Victoria's face, we're going to just color in the cheeks. And I chose pink. And I forgot to do her ears. So, gonna make her ears this color as well. All right, so let's quickly do the lighthouse and then we'll do the, the ocean and the trees. Yes, I can wait after coloring Victoria. So let me know when I can proceed. So I'm just going to get my colors ready for the lighthouse. I'm going to use a red and a blue. And this is the blue I'm going to use because it's really bright. And I'm going to use my markers, but you guys can use any colors. And while we're waiting, I'm just going to get the colors ready for my trees and the mountains or the hills in the background. So I like to use a lighter green and a darker green. So I have these two greens. Can I see the giraffe? Yes. Um, I'm just gonna put this drawing over here for those of you that want to look at that one. All right and for Victoria I forgot to say this you can add little polka dots if you want. I think I'll do polka dots. I'm just gonna take a darker color and I'm just going to make little polka dots and you just lightly take your marker or your color and do that. And just put the polka dots wherever you feel. There you go. Now Victoria is made. So let's make the lighthouse now. So I'm going to leave um, I'm just going to color in the red stripes, but I'm going to leave these parts white. You guys don't have to, but that's what I feel like doing. And I really think red and white look really good together, so I'm just going to leave the colors as is. So there, those are our stripes. And I'm going to take my blue color 
and I'm just gonna color this building on top of the lighthouse. Well, it's part of the lighthouse. I don't know the proper terminology, so I apologize. And I forgot to color this in. I'm gonna make it red. All right. And now for the doors or the windows of the lighthouse, because there's light coming through it, I'm gonna make it yellow to show that there's light coming through. And you can color in the flag, whatever color you want. I think I'm gonna make it pink again. I'm gonna take my pink and I'm gonna color it in. And there's a heart on my flag, so I'm just gonna take this red color and I'm gonna color that in. Sweet. And now for the island, I think I wanna go in with green because this island has a lot of greenery. So I'm actually gonna take my green and lightly color that in. And this other island, I wanna make green too. Okay. So should we do the ocean first or the, uh, the hills and the trees? Because then we're almost done. And we still have to do the sky, but we can just do that at the very end. So I'm gonna get my colors ready in the meantime. So I have like this bluish color for the ocean first. Sure, let's do the ocean. So I have this light blue color. You guys don't have to have the exact color, but just any light blue or even a dark blue would do, whatever you feel. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna color that in. I'm leaving a lot of white spaces because I personally, I like how that looks, but whatever you guys prefer. And I just, somebody said hills. Sorry guys. Okay, hills. All right, okay, so the consensus is hills first. So disregard that. Let's do the hills. So I'm gonna take my green and I'm going to not color the hills completely green. I'm gonna leave some white spaces like that because I'm gonna take my other green to fill those parts in just because I like the look of that. So there's dark areas and light areas where the sun is shining. And I'm just gonna go in like that. So it doesn't look like much right now, but I promise it's gonna look better when we're done. We can't hear or see you. Can you guys hear me and see what I'm doing? Let me know in the comments, so. Yes, I can hear and see. Great. Perfect. I got so scared for a second. All right, I'm just going to move my camera a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing to those hills with our green. And we're going to leave the white spaces. So it goes like, like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not all about being perfect. And you just do that. It looks pretty messy right now, but that's okay. And I think I want to add some more green over here because why not? All right. Okay, so now I'm going to take my other green and I'm just going to fill in those white spaces. I'm going to go in like that.
And it doesn't have to be perfect because art is all about having fun. And I'm leaving some white spaces as I color just because I like the look of it. Alright, and I'm going to do the same to the side. I forgot to color this in. And you just do that. If you guys have a different technique, that's okay too, because it's still going to look nice. All right, as you can see, I left some white spaces, but I personally like how that looks. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to leave those and let's color our tree. So I'm just going to move this. All right. And I'm going to take that green that I used first on the hills and I'm just going to go in to the edges as you can see I'm not even coloring in the lines I'm sure you guys are doing better than I am coloring is it's a lot of fun but I'm I never color in the lines for some reason and I just, I just do this. I'm going to try to explain it as best I can, but I apologize if this doesn't make sense. So it doesn't have to be perfect, whatever technique you guys have. I like to do that and leave some white. And I'm just going to take my green, other green color and fill in the white spots. Just so it looks like there's some dark and light spots where the sun is shining on the tree. Looks messy, but it's gonna look, it's gonna make sense in the end. <laughs> All right. Great, so I'm just gonna quickly color in the trunk and just take any brown color you have and color in the trunk. And this island that the tree is on, I think I'm going to take um, gray. What company are your markers from? So a lot of my markers are actually Crayola, and some of them are Artist Loft, and some of them are, uh, I think this is called Faber, Faber Castle. Looks like, like that. So hopefully that helps. Any markers work. So I'm just going to fill in this island and then we're going to do the ocean and we'll do the sky at the end. Okay, let's make the ocean. So we take our light blue color or any blue you want to use and we're just going to lightly fill in the ocean. And I'm leaving white spots just because I personally like how that looks, but you know that. You guys can fill it in if you want, or you can do what I'm doing. And we'll add waves after this. So I just like to just make like little lines. And trying to fill it in the best that I can. Your voice is breaking. Um, is it better now?
All right, so this is what we have. It's not perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna make the waves and we're actually done. We just have a couple more things to add. So you guys, we're actually running out of time. So I wanted to say a few things as, as we try to finish up. Um, we hope that you'll share your, what you created with us. Um, please post your creations on Instagram or Facebook and tag the Sick Coalition. And if you're posting it on Instagram, you can tag my Instagram. And um, thank you for joining in on today's session. Uh, please join us next week. So Vikramjeet Singh, um, Vikramjeet Singh Khalsa, also known as Amazing, is going to do a magic show. So at the same time in the same place. So please join us for that. And before I sign off, I have two special announcements for you all. Um, next Tuesday on May 5th, the Sikh Coalition will join the rest of the nonprofit community in recognizing hashtag Giving Tuesdays Now. This is a global day of giving in response to this pandemic. Since mid-March, the Sikh Coalition has been has been working to ensure the Sikh community has the resources to navigate the COVID-19 pandemic. So stay tuned for more information about hashtag Giving Tuesday Now coming early next week. And also, sorry, the Junior Sick Coalition is hosting a national art and poetry contest for ages 0 to 26. So check out the comments for more information on the themes and submission guidelines. If you are feeling inspired and extra creative after today's session, we'd love for you to submit and the deadline is this Friday. So I'm just going to quickly color the sky and then we're done. So I'm going to take a blue color that I have and color this in. Of course, I'm coloring it in messy because I don't mind messy. And then you just color in the sun and then you're done. So just take your yellow and color that in. All right, guys, we're out of time. So thank you for joining us today. It was so nice doing this with all of you. Um, bye now. Bye.